Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over my method of color grading. Uh, I've been color grading with DaVinci Resolve for nearly two years now, and it's crazy to see how much I've grown and how much I continue to grow using DaVinci Resolve. Um, and when I first started, you know, I was only using like, you know, five to, you know, maybe eight nodes. Now I'm using somewhere around 20 nodes and I really set myself up to have a lot of control over my image and I want to share my techniques with you guys and really the goal here is to go after a, a sort of an orange teal sort of look. I mean I'm aiming for more um, of a warmer look especially on the skin tones um, but how we set this up will give you a lot of flexibility to uh, do a lot. So I'm going to reset all grades and nodes and here was the original shot and for your information we shot this on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera at 2.5k raw so this is a raw clip and you can download a portion of the shot um, in the description below. So basically here's the original shot with a Rec 709 uh, LUT on it and I'm not a fan of using LUT so the first thing I want to do is go to color space and use BMD film. And I personally like having a flat image and being able to control the image completely. And that's just my personal preference other people like using LUTs but I'm not a fan. Um, anyway. Let's go here to our first node, and the first thing I want to do is, you know, balance this out correctly. Uh, it's a little bit underexposed, uh, so uh, go to the lift, you know, raise it up, go to the gain, raise that up a touch, maybe go to the gamma, and then bring the lift down a little bit, and maybe lower the gain a little bit. And really this is decently balanced, and then I'm going to add some contrast. And this node, I'm really just balancing out the clip, and doing what I can and then you know I'm gonna increase the saturation to hundred right off the start. Now that we have a basic correction on our image let's go up to nodes and add serial node and then with this I'm gonna go up to nodes and add layer node. Uh, go to the quantifier and select the blue on her shirt. Then I'm gonna hit shift H on my keyboard and that will bring up what's selected. Uh, then I'm going to increase the width a little bit actually by a lot. Uh, then go to blur radius and increase that Maybe I'll even increase this a little bit more, increase the soft. Okay, uh, then hit Shift H here, and then what I can do is go to our color wheels and go to the gain and punch that to the blue more. You know, and then once we have her shirt done, then I'm gonna hit Option L on my keyboard or go to uh, Nodes, uh, New Layer Node, and then select her uh, their skin tones. So I'll select skin tones here. Hit Shift H on my keyboard and I'll bring up what's selected. Um, I'm going to increase the width, uh, maybe by a little bit more. You know, increase the soft, you know, continue to increase the width, and then increase the blue blur radius. All right, and then once that's done, I can increase the gain a little bit on their skin tones. And then I'm going to add a new node. And then we can, you know, select some of these background colors here. So, you know, maybe I'll select this, you know, greenish blue color here. And, you know, hit Shift A, Shift H on my keyboard, and I'll bring up some of the greens. Increase the width, you know, increase the soft, the blur radius, and then you know, gain out the green a little bit. So a little before and after. You know, that really does push it out a little bit. And then even the reds here. Um, hit, you know, Option L on my keyboard. Uh, and then select the red cup here, hit shift H, you know, get some red selected, increase the saturation on that, maybe increase the width a little bit, and increase the soft and blur radius. Okay. Now that we've isolated several colors in the shot, I'm going to go up to node 2, and under gain control, I'm going to just bring that down to the blues. And that will kind of help us create an orange teal look, even though it's not there yet, but this is on the right track. And then I'm going to go to select the layer node and hit uh, Option S on my keyboard to create a serial node. Um, and then I'm going to create a new layer node by hitting Option L. And then with this node 10 here, I am going to desaturate the image completely. Then create a new serial node. Then bring the gain up to the orange. And bring the gamma down to the blues. And then once that's done, go to layer node right click it and click soft light. And now that we've created like a lot of contrast in this shot, let's go ahead and control it a little bit so we can tone it down. What I'll do is I'll select a layer node here, uh, add a new serial node and a new layer node. And then break the connection for node 14 and drag it over to 
our layer node over here. So you can see that a little bit better. And then I will go to the key here. And then we can lower the gain under key output. And that will bring it back into the shot. So there we go. So right now we have all of our basic nodes up for complete control over the shot. Uh, but before we go back and do some tweaking, I want to move forward and you know continue to enhance the image with a few little extra adjustments. So I'll create a new serial node. And then I will go down to our curves here and go to under custom, go to uh, hue versus sat. And I will select points for each um, for each of the colors. And this will allow me just to you know, kind of continually to uh, saturate uh, you know certain color points in our shot. So if I jump up the orange, maybe the green, maybe I'll just even touch up everything. I'm just gonna kind of do what I feel is right. And each image will depend on you know your style and things like that. And maybe I will adjust that up a little bit. And then bring up the blues. So then we got a pretty orange shot here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a new node. Then I'm gonna create a new serial node. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to uh, Luma versus Sat. And click two points here. Uh, so we have a black point and a white point. And I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit. And that will help saturate, you know, basically the mid-tones in the image. Uh, and then I'm gonna create a new node, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my personal touch on my images. And the, I'm gonna do regular curves here, um, and make sure to break the chain. And I'm gonna create S curves for each of the uh, channels here. So S curve for red, S curve for green, and S curve for the blues. Maybe I'll expose the image just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, that should be okay. And then create a new serial node. And then I'm gonna go down to the sharpen here and just lower it just a little bit. Oh, that made our image a little bit more sharp. And then finally, uh, I'll go ahead and create a new node and then uh, click on the circle mask. You know, drag that out a little bit. Invert it and then Let's make it a little bit darker and we're creating a vignette here. And let's make sure we pull out the feather on this thing. So now that we have our basic nodes done, we can go back and easily readjust the image. Um, and one thing I wanna do is make, you know, add some more blue into the image. So what I'll do is go to node two, and then I will lower the gain. And then go and click on the skin tones because they're looking just a little too hot for my taste. So I'll reset the node and then I'll just kind of reapply it just a little bit, keep it subtle. Then maybe I'll go back up to node two and just readjust the blue a little bit. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. Uh, the one thing I want to do in the background here is you know select the wood here and that's really close to their initial skin tones. So I'm just going to go back to node uh, six here and go back to the quantifier and go to the selection range and click the plus tool and just select the background um, and then hit shift H and definitely increase the blur radius by a lot. And that'll add us back in the shot and they might look a little too orange. Um, it's up to you, um, but I want to tone it down back to the blues a little bit. Um, and that's really a control because of what we did through like nodes 10 to 14 here. Um, that's why they're like a little bit more orange than they should be, but we are able to control that very easily. So this image might be a little bit oversaturated and there's one little quick fix that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go back to the node one here and I am going to lower the gain to about 105-ish, um, then increase the lift and then reset the gamma and then go back to node 17 when we did the uh, S curves and then increase the curves by a little bit and then go back to our skin tones isolation layer, uh, our node, and then increase the gain by a little bit. And that helped even out the image, so kind of remove some hot spots and kind of increase some of the shadows by a little bit. So that's my method of color correcting. You know, I set up my uh, shots to have total control over my shots, but also be able to go back and easily adjust my image when needed. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more tutorials. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.